everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, I have had a little break um, from the last couple of days, couple of weeks maybe, um, because <laughs> from my scheduled videos at least, um, basically because I have been battling a rather major thrips infestation um, and I'm no longer going down the biological control route. Um, I am moving towards pesticides um this is this will be a whole other topic a whole other video um i am just kind of waiting until i've dealt with that i know that it works before i can kind of create a video that might be useful to some of you if you're going through the same situation um but anyway <laughs> that will come at some point in the near future but that's basically i've just been feeling a bit overwhelmed with that because when you have a collection of plants the size of my collection of plants it actually becomes quite a stress um, when you see a lot of them declining very, very quickly. Um, yeah, so <laughs> so that's why. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, that is kind of where I'm kind of updating a little bit. Not very much. I've not been great at being on Instagram lately, but um, yeah, if you want to be in the know, that's where I'll be. Um, <laughs> so that's why I've been a bit behind on the last couple of weeks uh, video wise, but I'm back. Today I have a very cool topic for anyone who's interested in um, cacti and succulents, uh, as I am, <laughs> clearly. Um, it's it's funny, I, I feel like a lot of people are, you know, interested in the tropical plants. Um, and I don't know, I feel like sometimes you have to kind of dig a little deeper to find the, the cactus nerds and the succulent nerds. Um, but yeah, we're, we're certainly out there. <laughs> um, so I don't know if any of you outside of the UK will have heard of um, this, or even if you're inside the UK, um, we actually have a society called the British Cactus and Succulent Society. They've recently joined YouTube, um, so I will link that up above. Um, make sure you go and check it out because um, they have actually quite some really informative little videos um, and it's really nice to see them coming into uh, the social sphere, I suppose. Because um, I think uh, for a long time um, they've not been absent but not been overly present um, in terms of YouTube. Um, so yeah, they, they've joined YouTube. Um, that kind of prompted me. I saw a wonderful video just telling people about it from Desert Plants of Avalon. Um, Lynn made a, a short video about that and that kind of pushed me to go, oh yeah, I have been thinking about um, be becoming a member. I kind of had wrongly thought it'd be quite expensive, um, but actually it's only 15 pounds a year, um, which is pretty cool. I So I paid for that and within a couple of days I got <laughs> this, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. I've just opened it um, so I can take my address out so that you can't all see where I live because that would not be ideal. Um, but yeah, so this came through the post um, and it's, yeah, I haven't even properly looked at what comes inside it. Uh, so yeah, very cool, very cool. So um, let's have a look. The first thing I can see is a page saying welcome to the British Cactus and Succulent Society. This has my address on so I won't um, I won't be saying that but that just confirms all of my details. Uh, there's also a gift aid um, declaration form that if you um, are a UK taxpayer then they can recoup 25% of what you pay um, from tax which means that your don't your membership amount essentially kind of not no how how much would you say it's one hundred twenty five percent basically of <laughs> what you pay um, so I need to fill that out and send it back to them um, so what else have we got here so we've got a list of the um, patrons president honorary officials details of branches editorial team and then we've got a long list of all the branches in here so um oh this is cool i bet i don't think we've got one in bournemouth i think my nearest one is um in southampton let's have a look yeah that would be it so um interesting so they have a meeting every tuesday at 7 30 p.m I may well turn up to that. We'll see. 
yeah very cool awesome so yeah it's just got all the details uh that basically you could ever need in there we also get this um little uh wallet so i think this is my welcome pack i think so in here i've got so i've got my membership card stuck onto my welcome page uh so that's really cool um there you go um so let me see <sighs> sorry hey if you have a moment <laughs> Um, so yeah, firstly we've got this um, welcome page. Um, so on here it says the society was formed in 1983 by the amalgamation of two earlier societies, the National Cactus and Succulent Society from 1945 and Cactus and Succulent Society of Great Britain founded in uh, 1931. Um, shortly after the formation it registered as a charity with the declared aims of promoting the conservation and study of the plants and education. Um, the society caters for a wide range of interest levels from beginner to the professional botanist, um, which is very cool. There's more than 70 branches which are self-sustaining, so it's definitely worth having a look to see if you have a local branch. Local branches are the perfect place to um, get to know people um, and also often to pick up really gorgeous specimens um, that you wouldn't find elsewhere. As a member, you will Receive the quarterly journal Cactus World, which is this. Um, acknowledged worldwide for its excellence. Membership runs from January to December and all back issues for the year are included for those joining mid-year. Cactus World contains interesting and informative articles on a wide range of subjects suitable for both experienced growers and those new to the hobby. The December edition also contains a list of cactus and other succulencies which you may purchase at... And, uh, bleh, which you may purchase at advantageous prices. The BCSS also organises two major and always eagerly awaited events, a national show and an international convention. Very cool. Um, they also have a yearbook called Bradleya, Bradleya I think it is, um, which is more aimed at the um, experienced cactus grower um, but also contains articles of interest to many members. I believe that also contains kind of research studies um, as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I think there's more sort of specifically botany um, related uh, articles in there. We've got some kind of details on general advice, um, how cacti and other succulents evolved, conservation and um, the facilities. So, and they've got some easy to grow succulents down here, which is always awesome. Ooh, okay. So then we have got some really cool, okay, this is awesome. Some really cool information sheets. So we've got cacti, other succulents, um, propagation, container, composts, and repotting. Uh, where can I grow them? <laughs> I'm reading this backwards, can you tell? <laughs> uh, seed raising. Seed raising. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, this is something that I really want to get into and I'll show you exciting things in a second. Um, so that's really handy because I do not know how to raise a cactus seed. Uh, pests and diseases. I'm going to lay a hard bet that mealybug is on there because they're assholes. They really are. Oh yes. Yep, mealybug. <laughs> Straight on there. Um, the growing year and uh, growing mesems. Oh, misambrianthemums. Misambrianthemums. A lot of these are lithops. We know them as lithops anyway. Uh, we've got Hawthias. As Asclepiads, <laughs> like Stapelia and Cerapedia. Um, forest cacti, epiphytes, very cool. Um, and further information sources. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Um, okay, I am going to have a lot of reading to do. This is very cool. Um, if you are a cactus nerd like me and or a um, succulent nerd like me, then this is it's just perfect. Oh, and I've got a little sticker for my car that is going straight in my car. Woohoo! <laughs> I want to identify myself as a cactus nerd. I do, I am very happy about being that. Um, oh, and some seeds. 
Okay, this is very cool. So um, we have got Parodia sanguiniflora, uh, Coripantha, Vivipara neo -var neo mexicana. You're never going to be able to see that on this tiny screen, are you? Uh, Ributia craneziana. <laughs> I really need to learn how to say all these. Gasteria bicolor and Haworthia margaritifera. That's probably not how that's said, <laughs> but that is very cool. Um, and this will be my only my second ever venture into um, growing any form of cactus or succulent from seeds because I only ever did it once from a bunch of seeds that it was either my mum or me bought from eBay, um, and they. <laughs> they turned out to be like cress or something so i suppose that doesn't even really count as an attempt um so yeah i will do a little video when i um attempt to sow these and grow them and see what happens and i will be basing it all off of the information that came in here because i i don't know what i'm doing with them honestly i am a novice count me in as a novice um <laughs> i think you know most of my cacti survive very well most of my succulents also apart from one that's looking at me right now are surviving very well um my hypocrisy is just like making itself evident um but i think most of them are doing pretty well now that i live in a south facing um home which is really a big part of being able to keep cacti and succulents um kind of happy basically <laughs> so th this is the really exciting bit so basically um as part of the membership you get four of uh this cactus world magazines uh, four of the these I've, I've lost my english skills four of these cactus world magazines every every year so they're quarterly um and they're really really beautiful um yeah really really lovely so let's have a quick look into here Oh, I've got my membership card in here. Very cool. Okay, so uh, oh, it, I think it's probably fairly generic. But yeah, that's my membership card. Um, ooh, okay, so we've got some little handouts in the middle as well. Some handouts that we've got are on Callan Coey, which is very cool. So we've got about the genus, um, where it comes from, uh, some features of it and then we've got how to grow them on the back as well uh, we've also got the same for parodia um, I do have a little parodia and uh, it hasn't flowered <laughs> I think I've actually got parodia warasii that one on the front um, it hasn't flowered since I've had it but I'm hoping that it might this year we'll see that's very cool uh, we've also got the BCSS spring virtual show um, so this has, oh, interesting. So uh, you have the last date for entries is 16th of May, 2021. So uh, we have missed that. Winners to be shown via Facebook on 29th of May, 2021. So um, very cool. I think I might go and have a look on Facebook and see if we can see this. Um, if it is here, if it's on Facebook, I will just put it on the side of the screen here. So when I went, um, I went to one of these shows in, um, I think it was July 2019, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty hungover, it was the day after my birthday celebrations and I was a bit like, oh, um, but it was the most amazing show ever. <laughs> it was like rows and rows and rows of people's cacti, succulents, displays, all sorts of things. Um, there was also um, quite a few sellers and um, the really nice thing about these shows is that the people there are genuinely passionate about the plants um, and they're not kind of there to make lots of money out of you. Um, so you can pick up some really gorgeous specimens for a really decent price um, and, you know, get to know people who are equally passionate about the plants as you are. So, yeah, very cool. Um, so they've got 15 um, different schedules. So... I will just read them out because this is kind of interesting to me. So um, we've got cactus, one plant and limited pot size, two cactus, one plant, maximum pot size, 30 centimetres, three cacti, three plants, maximum pot size, 30 centimetres, four is succulent, one plant and limited pot size, 
five is succulent one plant maximum pot size 30 centimeters six succulents three plants maximum pot size 30 centimeters uh, seven, Gymnocalycium group, one plant, maximum pot size 30 centimetres. Eight is Mammillaria group, one plant, maximum pot size 30 centimetres. Nine, Parodia group, one plant, maximum pot size 30 centimetres. Um, Ten, Bowl garden containing cacti and or succulents, maximum pot size 30 centimetres. Eleven is cacti and or succulents contained in individual pots within a 35.5 by 22.8 centimetre seed tray containing no less than 10 plants. Ooh, interesting. Okay, sorry, I was <laughs> just getting my brain around that for a second. Uh, 12, um, cactus in flower, judged for floral effect and limited pot size. Ooh. Uh, 13 cristate monstros or variegated cactus maximum pot size 30 centimeters 14 cactus one plant showed by a novice or junior 15 cacti three plants shown by a novice or junior that would be me <laughs> um a novice i am certainly not um very good at um my cactus cultivation by any stretch this is very very cool because um obviously being mid covid pandemic um there's no way that they can run shows or there hasn't been a way that they can run shows um for people to attend because you know covid safety and lockdown etc um so they've obviously worked hard to find a way around this which is really really cool um yeah very cool and they have prizes as well awesome a junior is a person under the age of 18 so it's kind of it's that's yeah very cool i i feel like they really like to have young people um to join the the passion i suppose whatever you want to call it Ooh. so so this where my handout was we've got a really really cool picture of a bat um feeding on one of the flowers so this is a lep leptinus leptinicturus I'm gonna I've completely butchered that I know uh bat visiting a stenocerius quartaroensis flower I hope I said that right to feed on <laughs> to feed on nectar and pollen um but yeah how cool is that um so this is kind of the journal um cactus world and it is absolutely jam-packed I haven't even looked through this but I can see just from looking at it how's the best way to do it it's just got absolutely tons and tons of amazing pictures news um really interesting kind of study information all that kind of stuff flowers stapelia <laughs> we love it um and yeah some i'm gonna have a lot of fun reading through this i've just dropped it on the floor <laughs> um so this is from march 2021 so there'll be three more to come i don't know why i did three three more to come during the year um but yeah this is really really cool i'm so excited i don't know um please tell me in the comments guys if this is the kind of thing that interests you because i'm not sure how many of you are here for the kind of the more tropical plants the begonias that kind of thing um foliage type plants um and how many of you are actually really interested in cactus and succulent stuff because i haven't done a lot of that on here and i would really like to get into it because i i love i love them I'm a little bit underconfident with them because I tend to just leave them <laughs> and hope for the best. Um, but generally speaking, touch wood, most of mine are doing okay. So um, I would really like to get into that a bit more on here, but I'm definitely open to your comments or suggestions as to what I should do on here in terms of cacti and succulents. I am going to do a little tour of my cacti and succulents. Just beware that I don't know the names of all of them. <laughs> I have tried many times to identify all my cacti and succulents and it hasn't always worked so um yeah just bear with me on that one but yeah definitely let me know um if this is something that interests you um have a look at the British Cactus and Succulent Society um website which I will leave in a link down below um I'll also link to their YouTube channel up here um and yeah check them out and let me know if you end up signing up because I think 15 pounds a year is pretty much a steal like with all the information that you're getting and uh, membership to a 
a uh, group of people who are really quite passionate about this all so um yeah very very cool i am super excited to be part of it now and uh yeah i i'm just like my nerd self is happy i'm gonna go and put my sticker in my car um and yeah <laughs> Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time. Bye guys!